What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Today we're going to go over how you can make lots of stubs. If you've been following this channel, you already have some of these investments placed in. You're just waiting for the cash out. But if you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. Hit that red subscribe button. If you are MVP and you follow me over on Twitter, the link in the description has my Twitter, has my Instagram, and my Twitch. You are in a giveaway. I will have a question in the video, so watch the full video. But let's get into today's stub method, the roster investments you should have been to made, and how you can cash out on the roster update. Let's go. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FAT for 5% off your order. First, we're going to go to my inventory and then we're going to take a look at what cards I think have the best potential to go up. Today is the cutoff for the roster update. So how people performed in real life yesterday, the day before that, and then over the past seven games is very, very important. All right. So the first person I have on the radar is the 79 overall Hunter Renfro. You can see right now he's over the 1,000 gold quick sale. So a lot of people are jumping on this. I got 24 of them. If he gets the upgrade, you never know what SDS is going to do, so it's never a guarantee. But if he gets the upgrade, I get 24,000 quick sale cash out on this one investment right here. So right now it's about 200 stubs per card that you can still make but if you are subscribed to this channel with your notifications on i give y'all a breakdown of all the best people or i tweet it out or i put it on youtube a little later like yesterday i told y'all about the mccutcheons he's back hitting grand slams two for four three for five starting to play above a 75 overall once again so either he would go up to a 76 or if he gets the plus two that lets you know that he's next in line for that gold bump. Hunter Renfro has been betting a 291 over the past 15 games with six bombs. Plus he has a 600 slugging, which is pretty decent. It's not the best slugging percentage in the MLB, but it's enough for him to get a plus one on his overall stats. All they have to do is give him a plus three somewhere, a plus three somewhere, a plus one, a plus two, and that's gonna put him up to the 80 overall threshold. 84 overall Freddy Peralta, He's at $44.99. That means that 90 to 95% of the community expects for him to go up to Diamond. Now, his last performance was the worst performance he's had in a long time. He's been very consistent. He's been playing over a 84 overall all season in real life. So I have 30 of the Freddie Peraltas. That's 150K quick sale if he does get the plus one. You never know who will get the plus one, who will get the plus two, but he's a very good investment with a big payout. Giancarlo Stanton, he's a sneaky investment. He's not one that everyone is expecting to go diamond, but the way that he's been performing over the last 15 games, betting a 306 with two home runs and seven RBIs he went two for four yesterday and that was right before the roster cutoff so will he get the plus one we don't know for sure but the way that he's on pace right now playing if you invest into him right now 1800 stubs per investment if he doesn't get the bump he will be on track to be able to get that plus one next time if he can stay on par with the numbers that he is doing right now over the past seven games i didn't invest into this card but if you invested in them you have a chance at being able to make a lot of stubs off of them if you have 20 or more if you only have three or four of them it's not a guarantee that he's going to go up to diamond i don't even have him in my top two or three players but if he does get the plus one, some of y'all would make a lot of stubs off of this card. Now, another one of my investments that I got way back when he was in the 1000s is this 83 overall Salvador Perez. I'm not sure if he's going to get the plus two this roster update. We've been waiting for him to get upgraded for a while. But if he don't get at least a plus one this roster update, he will turn diamond on the next roster update. So I have 27 of them. The last 15 games, he's only been batting a 233 with two home runs. But the last seven games, he's been batting a 379 with a 621 slugging percentage. So like I said, if he don't get the plus one at least this roster update, he has a very good shot 
at going all the way to Diamond on the next roster update if he can keep his pace of the last seven games. Jared Walsh, 84 overall. Over the last 15 games, he has four home runs and 13 RBIs, betting a 279. Last 15 games, that is. That's almost a run betted in per contest. That's very good. He deserves the plus one. I don't know what they're going to look at for his stats, but if he can get a plus two here, a plus two there, that should be enough to get him up to that 85 overall like he deserves. He's not a goal. He's definitely a diamond off of the team. Now, this 79 overall, Iglesias, I have 20 of these. Another sneaky good investment. 727, you can get them right now for, or 728, that'll still give you about 250 stub profit wiggle room in between. Iglesias, over the last seven games, has only given up two hits. The last seven games, that's three betters per inning. So in the last seven games, he gave up two hits, two earned runs, and he's tallied 12 strikeouts. So that's enough to be up to at least an 80 overall. They're going to have to do something. They're going to have to just bump up his walks per nine. They're going to have to bump up his stamina, anything to get him up to that 80 overall. I think he has about an 85, 90% chance of getting that bump. I don't know if he would perform like that to go up to a diamond eventually. But right now, if you can get 15 to 30 of these, that would be an easy 15,000 to 30,000 stuff. Ozzy Albus, he's already over the 5,000 quick sell, just like Otani was in the last roster update. I have 27 of them. 27 of them would make me about 125K ish. So, with this roster update, if I can get at least five people out of the nine or 10 investments, that would put me between 450,000 stubs made up to about 850 or 900 stubs made. And then I would still have back orders. So, he's an 84 overall inside edge, playing up to an 87 overall. The most anticipated card, the last 15 games. Four home runs with a 293 batting average, six stolen bases, and 17 hits. So they have to bump up his speed, give him a plus two, plus three right there. His field in plus two, plus three. That would put him at an 85 overall. They can do anything with his contact right. They can give him like a plus one, a plus four, any kind of pluses on him for the roster update will help him get up to that 85 overall like he deserves. Rice Hoskins, y'all better watch out for him. Right now he's very cheap, 333 stubs. I've had this Rice Hoskins for about a month now. Got him when he was like 104, 105 stubs. Right now, he's 333. Not guaranteed to get the plus two, but if he does get the plus one, if you see on the roster update, he gets the plus one. More people are gonna start running after him, investing in him. He'll only be one point away from that 80 overall. But he's been performing in the last seven games. He has four home runs, betting a 391 batting average with a 1,087 slugging. So if he can stay on that path, for the next week, week and a half, he's going to be guaranteed luck to get all the way up to a goal, maybe about an 81, 82 overall. His inside edge is already up to an 81 overall, but the way that he's been performing the past three or four games is right before the roster update. They can sneak in and get him a plus two. So all total with my roster updates, I have 150K profit I can make off of Galagos, 150K profit off of Freddie Peralta, 100K-ish off of Stanton, 24K-ish off of Hunter Renfro, 125K off of Silverdeer Perez, 150K off of Jared Walsh, 125K off of Ozzy Albus, 20K-ish off of Iglesias, 24K-ish off of Rice Hoskins. So like I said, the lowest I can get is about 400K. The most I can get is between 850 and 900K plus the ones that I have in the backlog on the method that I showed y'all. So I would be sitting at about a million stubs at the best, and then at the worst, I would be sitting close to about 750,000 stubs just by being smart and investing. Also, you can see these Tops Now cards. If you go into the filter, all these cards that I told y'all I went and got for 5,000, 5,100, 5,400, none of them are at that price right now for June. Everything is 86, 96, 9,400 stubs, 10,000 stubs. So that's a quick 3,000 stubs I made on every single card that I picked up. But if y'all enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and he tell a friend, and she tell a friend to come watch the video, man. Come become part of the fam. MVP stand up, the best supporters 
in the community, hands down, also. First person to get the trivia right, you should have been paying attention to the entire video, it popped up in the video, the answer was in another spot, hit me up on Twitter, and I'll get y'all a gift card. Let's get it.